Good morning, my sisters and brothers. It's great to be here in the house of the Lord another day as we come to worship, as we come to celebrate the goodness of God. We give God thanks that he has kept us throughout the past week. And we are here today another time as we come to celebrate the goodness of God, the greatness of God. I invite you at this time to stand if you can as we are about to go into a period of consecration. We are continuing our month of prayer and fasting. And we want to at this time to go into a time of consecration as we invoke the presence of the Spirit of God to move in our midst, to manifest in our midst, to dwell with us. We are grateful to God. The writer declares that this is the day that the Lord has made. And we will rejoice and be glad in it. So as we celebrate God today, let us worship God in the beauty of holiness. I invite us at this time to join me in prayer as we consecrate ourselves all to the honor and glory of Almighty God. Let us join my hearts in prayer at this time. Hallelujah. Praise God. Oh, our gracious God, we, we celebrate your greatness this morning. We lift you up and we magnify you, O oh God, because you are awesome, God. You are great. You are powerful. You are mighty. There is none that can be compared to our God. From everlasting to everlasting, you are God. You are highly exalted, O oh God. Father, we thank you that you have kept us throughout the past week. And you have allowed us to be here this morning as we come to, to worship. We pray that God, your Holy Spirit, will instruct us. That you, O oh God, will guide us. That you will cause us, O oh God, to lose ourselves and to find it in you. We pray that today, that self will be crucified. And we pray that the anointing of God will be released in this place today. We command that the power of Almighty God will move in our midst. We pray, Almighty God, that every spirit of darkness will be despised right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We break the power of darkness right now in the mighty name of Jesus. And Father, I pray that you, Lord God, will be exalted in our midst. You, Lord God, will be exalted in our lives. We pray, Almighty God, as we empty our hearts before you, that you will fill us with your power and by your spirit. Father, I pray that you will saturate this place with your anointing. We pray, Almighty God, that burdens will be lifted right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray, Almighty God, that shackles will be broken right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh God, we pray that Lord God in darkness will be pushed back right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, and the light of God will shine forth in this place today. Father, I pray that as we send up our praises to you, oh God, as we lift up our prayers before you today. That your name will be glorified. The right that it is. Be glorified in the heavens, oh God. Be glorified in the earth. Be glorified in this temple. Father, we thank you for what you have already done. And what you have in store to do. So may your power, Lord God, manifest. We pray, Almighty God, that every spirit that is not of you will be subject to your spirit today. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we pray that your anointing will come and manifest and destroy the break of yours today. So, Father, we thank you and bless your holy name as we give the praise, glory, and honor in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, glory to God. Come and lift up your hands and just give the Lord a praise. Give the Lord a praise in the house today. He's worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Praise God. And so I just want to use this opportunity to extend welcome to each and everyone. It's great to see you in the house of God today. It's good to see Bishop Lee with us today. Amen. We give God for you, Bishop Lee and Minister Lee. It's good to see Sister Mahele and the Brother Tony in our midst today as well. And all of us who have been coming, the regulars, we are grateful to God that you are here today. 
Hallelujah. We want to also extend greetings to those who are joining us by social media. We pray that the presence of God will be in your, in your home, wherever you are today, that you will sense the peace of God you know, in your lives as well. So may the Lord bless you today as we continue to celebrate the goodness of God. We, we give God thanks that He is here with us. And the scripture declares that He is here. Hallelujah. He is here. Amen. He is here. Holy, holy. I will bless His name again. And so as we continue in our time of prayer and fasting, we are going to be singing this song, I am praying, blessed Savior, to be more and more like Thee. I am praying that Thy Spirit, like a dove, may rest on me. For Thou would know us all my weakness. Thou would know us all my fear. While I plead each precious promise, hear or hear, and answer prayer. Now what for us as we enter into this period of intercession to connect with Almighty God, the Spirit of God is moving in our midst. And want each of us to connect with the Spirit of God today. Hear or hear. And answer prayer. I am praying, blessed Savior, to be to do 
that. But now, without prayer, I want for us to understand. Without prayer, without prayer, we cannot override him. Without prayer, we cannot overrule him. It is only by prayer, my sisters and brothers, that we will override the enemy and give heaven the authority to move in the earth realm. So as we come today in our prayer and in our fasting, we are going to pray to Almighty God that he will move, you know, and he will override and overrule what the enemy, what the devil is trying to do. He is wreaking havoc in our world. And the only way in which we can connect with heaven is through prayer. I want to say to our sisters and brothers that worship is important, singing is important, but I want for us to remember that prayer precedes the worship. If you call to remembrance when Paul and Silas was in prison, before they begin to sing, they prayed, the Bible said that at midnight they prayed and they sung after the prayer. So today, before we can get into the wrath of Almighty God, we need to pray. So our first prayer today will be done by Bishop Lee and he will be praying for the family. He will pray for marriages, for finances in our prayer, in our, in our family lives. He will pray that God will move mightily in our family. As we continue to sing, God will know us. All my weakness, Bishop Lee will be coming forth and he will be leading us in our first prayer. God will know us. Without you we can do nothing, but in you we move and have our being. My God, my heart is flowing with joy. My God, my God, my God. Oh, 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 great thou art. Mighty is our God. Mighty is our King, ruler of everything. His name is higher, higher than any other name. Oh God, we assemble to worship the God of grace, the God of mercy, the God of compassion. Our infinite God who shake the heavens and the earth in a moment in the twinkling of an eye. Oh, that men will praise the Lord for all his benefits toward the children of men. We applaud you, Lord. We glorify your name. We lift you up. Oh God, if the foundation be destroyed, what shall the righteous do? And so here we are today praying unto you, Lord. Oh God, casting down our crowns at Jesus' feet. We make request to God because we know that you are the king of our, our lives. Oh God, king of my life, I crown thee now. Thy shall the glory be. We assemble, Lord, in the midst of this crisis to worship you. The demon, the devil, has launched an attack on marriages. 
Oh God, hallelujah. But we thank you because you, you from the beginning, yes, yes, yes. you made woman, man and woman yes. to, to procreate and that they should bring forth fruit and seed, oh God, and replenish the earth. But the enemy has laid up attack, oh God, to fight marriages. Yes, marriages yes. are ordained of God. Yes. Oh Lord, for this cause shall a man leave his father and his mother and cleave to his wife and they two shall be one flesh. We thank you Lord in the midst of our praying today that you will back back the stormy wind that blows from every swelling tide of woe. There is a calm and safe retreat that found beneath the mercy seat. Lord God, by your grace we shall make it. And many marriages are on the rocks today, 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 today. They cannot see their way out. Darkness has covered the land. Oh God and men taking heed to seducing spirit. But we thank you because we have a God and we pray. Jesus answers a prayer. We ask you that you touch the marriages in our city and globally. We ask you Lord that the light of God's countenance shall rest upon marriages. The enemy know that when he crush marriage, the whole church is gone to naught. But in the name of Jesus, we, we speak, we speak steadiness in your marriages. We speak life to our marriages. Oh God, the Lord liveth before whom I stand today. Oh, I declare that God is the author and the finisher of our faith. And so we come to you today in this first prayer to pray for marriages and finances. Oh God of heaven, the enemy has depleted our finances in, in such a, a, a dumb way, Lord. But you know that the, the God of Jacob provides. You make way when there is no way out, Lord God. And so we pray to bless us, Lord, and make your face shine upon us. Increase our faith, Lord God, that we trust you with confidence. That you who begin a good work shall perform it to the end of the journey. Lord, time is hard and rough. But with the children of God, it's easy. If Jesus is in the vessel, Lord, for you are God of the good times. You are God of the bad times. You are the God of darkness. You are the God of the day. For the light shineth hideth not from thee, but the night shineth at the day. The darkness and the light are both alike to thee. Many hours pierce our soul from without within. But my Lord, lead me on. To him I must win. God, we are not. We are not relenting to, 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 to defeat. We must conquer. For we are more than conquerors to him that loved us. And so we entrust our lives to thee. This church we commit in your hand. And all the churches in North America and the church all over the world. We commit Lord God who some are having problems in, in, in adhering to the will of God. But in the name of Jesus, we take authority to the blood of the everlasting covenant. That sickness and finances shall cease. And the God of grace will multiply our faith in you that we shall worship you in spirit and in truth. And this number of people that come today, we ask you to bless them now. Bless our pastor and bless the messenger today and bless the message. For we endeavor to commit everything to you and to your care, Lord God. I am weak, but thou art strong. I believe you give it strength and grace to the humble, Lord. And so I trust you with confidence. This earth shall be covered with the power of Almighty God. Bless the praise team. Cover the musicians. And give us grace that we shall serve you in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. We exalt your name and we bless you. Thank you for hearing our prayers. And we glorify your name in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, put your hands together and give the Lord a praise. Give the Lord a praise. Give the Lord a praise. He's worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, give the Lord a praise. In the house today, give the Lord a praise. Give the Lord a praise. We glorify the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise God. Sing the second verse. Oh, I am praying. I am praying, blessed Savior. I am praying for a faith so clear and bright that his eye will 
see thy glory through the deepest, darkest night. For thou knowest all my weakness. Thou knowest all my care. While I see thee precious promise. Here, over here, and answer prayer. And our sacred prayer will be done by Minister Lee. And should be praying for the sick, the shutting, and the seniors. As we sing this verse, Sister Lee will be coming to do the sacred prayer. I am praying. Blessed Savior. I am praying. Blessed Savior. And you heal their sicknesses. 
this morning is the same God we are crying unto. Yes. Oh God Almighty, we pray that you'll pass by us this morning. Yes. Great God Almighty, we pray that you'll touch every sick yes. person this morning. Heal their bodies, heal their sicknesses, heal their diseases. Gracious God, many are sick, not just not physically. My God, some are mentally sick. Just have some are spiritually sick. Some are emotionally sick. But God, we, we place them in your hands this morning. And we know you are able to do more than we can ask of your God. We pray that you walk to Zion. Gracious God, touch the hearts of your people. Some are sick. Some are sad. Gracious God, some have lost the very love they had. But this morning we pray in the name of Jesus that you restore their bodies, restore their heads, restore their emotions. Gracious God, we look to you this moment. We have no other God but you. So we ask that you will pass by here, Lord. Cover your people. Breathe on your people. Jesus, we are crying to you. Some are shut in. My God cannot move. They would want to come, but they cannot make it. But God, Jehovah, we ask that you will supply their needs. We ask that you will be with them. We ask that you will speak with them. We ask that you will visit with them. Gracious God, we look to you today. You are not a man that you will lie. You promise that you will see us through. You said, my God Almighty, oh God, we should cast our Lord tears upon you. For you care for us. So God, we are crossing sickness upon you. We are casting, Lord, the diseases upon you. We are casting our tears upon you. Jesus, we look to you today because we are not a God but you. Take over, Father in heaven. Touch the hearts of your people. Lift them up, God. Some are discouraged. Some are despondent. Oh, God. But we pray that you will reach out to your hand. Holy Spirit, manifest yourself among your people. Breathe on us again, God of heaven. Yes, Lord God. We are going to a situation when many thoughts are failing them from fear. Not knowing what to do. Not knowing where to turn. But our eyes are open, oh God. We are looking to you, Jehovah. The heart are looking to you, Jehovah. Oh God of heaven, scientists are confused. Governments don't know what to do. Oh God, Jehovah, you are our creator. You are our shield. You are our buckler. Oh God Almighty. So we tell you, we are passing our tears upon you today. Help us not to be afraid. Help us to trust your God. Help us to look to you, Father. Hallelujah. For you promise that you will not leave us, nor forsake us, God. So we pray, Lord, help us whatever the situation is. Help us to cast it on you. For you care for us. Cover your people under your blood. Keep us in the hollow of your hand. Keep us safe, Jesus Christ. Until the storm passes over. Yes, the storm is raging. The bellows are tossing high. But God, we are looking to you. For you are the you are the maker of the rain. Oh God of heaven. And so we commit ourselves into your hand. Touch your people. Visit those that are shutting this morning and are not able to come to go and move about. God, I pray that you'll be with them. Lord, remember the seniors. You tell us in your word, my God, that even in old age we shall still bring forth yes. So God Almighty, we pray that you'll visit the seniors, that you'll cover them under your blood, that you'll be with them, Lord, that you'll supply their needs. Oh, God Almighty, let that will be done, Lord. Be with us through this service, Father in heaven, and have complete control that at the end, my God, we can rejoice and say it was good for us to be here. Bless us, we pray, and direct us, oh God, as we commit all things in your mighty hand this morning. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Come on, put your hands together and give the Lord a praise. Hallelujah. Come on, lift up your hands to the heavens and, and just give the Lord a wave off for today. He's worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Glory to God as we continue to see the beautiful hymn. We're we'll be doing our third prayer. And this will be done by Nicholas Blackwell. And she'll be praying today for mental health and wellness. In a time
time like this, there are many people who are going through different issues and circumstances. And without the Lord control the mind. You know, there are many things will be happening to people, but today, Sister Winnie, we'll be praying for mental health and also wellness. As we continue to sing verse 3, I am praying to be humbled by the power of Christ divine, to be clothed upon with meekness, and to have no will but thine. For those who know it's called my weakness, though we know it's called my care, while I bring each precious promise, here or here, and answer prayer. Father God, he's telling them, oh God, there's so many suicidal thoughts, 
So many people are committing suicide. He is letting the people know the only way out is to end their life. But Father God, you are the one who gives life. You are the one who fashioned them for men. You are the one who breathed your breath into men, oh God, and give them life. And Father God, this morning you have given us life, abundant life. So I pray this morning that you will touch the mind, oh God, in the name of Jesus, my God of heaven. The ones that do not have a relationship with you have not come to know you, God. They don't know you, they can rely on you. But I pray in the name of Jesus that someone, oh God, will let them know that you love them beyond measure. Someone will let them know that there's a way out. And that way is to come to you, Lord God. So I pray that you will touch every mind, oh God. Mind that have wandered, oh God. Because in this season we are in, oh God. With this pandemic going on, oh God. People don't, don't even know where to turn. But we, your people who are called by your name, we know that we have a God who is awesome. We recognize and acknowledge that there is none like you, Father God. So I pray that you touch the minds of your people. Help us all to have our minds stayed upon you. Help us to sing the songs of Zion when we don't know what to do. Help us to remember your word. Holy Spirit, reveal. Reveal. Keep revealing yourself, my God to your people. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Father God, every organ in the body we pray for wellness this morning. Yes. Every organ that is not functioning the way it ought to. Every organ, oh God of heaven, that has something has taken place in those organs that are able to function. God, you are the one who fashioned us. And Father God, you can replace. You don't know do patch up work. You can replace my God. Because you are God. And God alone and there's nothing impossible for you. Mighty God, I pray that every deteriorating organ this morning, oh God, will be well. Because mighty God, it's your will for your people to be well. And Father God of heaven, there's so many sicknesses. Maybe in our bodies that we don't even know about. We put them in your hand this morning, God. Every organ in the body, every sickness, God of heaven, we plead the blood this morning against every sickness that we want to destroy our temples. Because our temple, my, our body is a temple. Oh, God, and it's your will for us to be well. So I pray you continue to touch your people, God. Our family members, oh God. Everyone, whoever they may be, wherever they might be, that the mind, oh God, is not the way it ought to be. I pray this morning that you send your words. Because whenever you send your word, oh God, it will accomplish that which you send it out to do. Amen. Touch the minds. Let the mind get in sync. Yes. Hey, let the mind get in sync. Let the mind, oh God, every mindset. Oh God, this one that is not of thee. We plead the blood against it this morning. The enemy has no control over us, God. We are your people. You have delivered us, oh God. So I pray in the name of Jesus this morning. We plead the blood against the enemy and his devices this morning. We are God's people. And Father God, even the ones that do not have a relationship with you this morning, may you break every chain. Every chain that has bound them this morning, oh God. We pray this morning because the enemy's plan is to destroy your creation. But God who sits in heaven and you look down on your people, we pray for deliverance of the mind. We pray for healing of the body. Oh God, touch from the crown of our heads to the very soul of our feet. Let us be well. The doctors are confused themselves. They don't know what to do. But you, God, you know everything. Because there's nothing that's hidden from you. So we place ourselves in your hands. We place our families in your hands. Touch God. Heal God. Deliver from the crown of the head to the very sole of the feet. That Father God, we will be at well. Our minds will be stayed upon you. When our mind wants to wander, Holy Spirit, step in. Step in back and bring it back into our life. Oh God, we leave everything in your care. Oh, we leave everything in your care. Thank you for hearing us this morning. Thank you for hearing us this morning. Thank you as we agree to gather as your people in the sanctuary. Over the earwaves, we agree. We will be well. We are well. We are claiming it. We are well. In the name of Jesus, we are well.
from the pastoral aid committee. This committee is headed by Sister Norma James and has as a membership Sister Sandra Gordon, Sister Nella Paris, and Brother Winfield Ferguson. We are reminded in Philippians 4, yes. sorry, Philippians 2, Reading from verse 3, it says, says, Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above yourself. Not looking to your own interests, but each of you to the interests of others. In your relationships with one another, have the same mindset. Yes as Christ Amen. Jesus. Yes. And this morning, the reason I'm here is to remind the church as a friendly reminder that 
the local church here, we are considering the month of October. Yes. Pastors Appreciation Amen. Month. Yes, yes it is. And this was not instituted by our local church. This is a directive that came from the international office to the national office but right, to hear our local church. So we are just being obedient yes. to the information that That's we right. receive That's as right. a local body. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this morning, we just want to encourage our membership that we have two pastors in our local congregation. The senior pastor, Pastor Joel Anderson, and our associate pastor, a senior member, Bishop Donald Lee. So we are encouraging members in this trying time that it is a love offering that we are offering up to our pastors yes. for the love and appreciation for working in the vineyard. We have many platforms in which we can make a contribution. We can do it while we are here serving. There's social media. There's the inter-app. There's e-transfers. And there are many various forms of ways that you can make your contribution to the local church. We are encouraging the zone overseers as well to speak to your members and seek ways in which you can collect on behalf of your membership. Yes. At this time, we know that the world is going through a pandemic. But we are also reminded that the anchor holds. Though the ship is battered, yes, yes, yes. the anchor holds. Amen. Through, though the seals are torn, the anchor holds. Amen. And as Christians this morning, yes. we know the anchor holds. Amen. So we are not surprised but we will survive. Amen. Amen. Come on. Yes. Amen. We will survive, Church of God and Prophecy. Yes, yes. Through it all, yes, yes. the anchor holds. Amen. Bless the Lord. Have a blessed Sunday and continue to enjoy the service. Amen. Thank you.
Father, we bless your name and we glorify your God, Jesus. Father, we worship you. We adore you. Give the Lord some praise this morning, oh God. So he's worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be lifted up. He's worthy to be honored and oh God, Jesus. Father, we bless your name, oh God. There is no one else like you, oh Jesus. We exalt you, oh God. You're the King of Kings. You're the Lord of Lords. Let me have the body to bright the morning star. Father, you're the one who's in charge of everything, oh God. You see all the things, you know all things. You created all things. Nothing is new in your sight, Jesus. Hallelujah, it might be new to us, but it's not new to you, Jesus. Oh Lord, you're in control, oh God. Father, we know you want to in your hands, oh God. We know our future in your hands, Jesus. For we cannot make it on our own, oh God. We cannot make it on our own, Jesus. We need your God. We need you. We need you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh Lord.
power, we give you the praise. We give you the honor and the glory of God. We lift you high, oh Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Can somebody shout the hallelujah? Shout the hallelujah. Wherever you want to say hallelujah. 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 Don't be afraid to say hallelujah. Father, we worship you and all you are God. We exalt the name on high. We lift you high, Jesus. Father, we exalt the name on high, Jesus. We worship you, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. At this time, we're going to go straight into our offering. Yes. 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 Amen. Amen. I pray, oh God, Jesus, that you will bless your people, oh God. Yes. As we go into our offering, oh God, Jesus. As they bring their sacrifice to you, Lord Jesus. As they bring their, their gifts to you, Lord Jesus. I pray that you will bless them, Jesus, as they come, oh God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Father, we worship you and adore you, O God. Hallelujah.
Jesus, we come again, O oh God, this morning to give you praise and thanks and honor and glory. Oh, yes. Father, we thank you, O oh God, for your goodness. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your love. We thank you, O oh God, for your mercies. We thank you, O oh God, for your loving kindness, O oh God, for your loving kindness is better than life itself. Father, we thank you, O oh God, for the offerings and the tithes that were taken up this morning. Father, Lord, O oh God, I pray that you would bless your people. Lord, they have given all of their, most or some of them have given from their, from their need. And Lord God, they come to give it to you. Father Lord, may it use for your glory and for your honor. May it go to the furtherance of the ministry. Father Lord, I pray, oh God, that you would open up the floodgates of heaven and shower them a blessing upon oh your people, oh God, that they will not have enough room to contain it. Father Lord, we know we are going through difficult times where many are going through Almighty God on decreased wages. Some probably don't even have any jobs, oh God. But I pray in the name of Jesus that you will provide jobs for your people, that you will continue to provide for your people as they give, Almighty God. Continue to provide the jobs, continue to provide the wages, Almighty God, that they need to go through this difficult time. I pray, oh God, that you would bless the offering one more time in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen.
mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Today, I give God thanks for this opportunity to speak for him. 
mighty God and to share his words and today I it's all about Jesus and I just give God all the glory and the praise hallelujah hallelujah I don't know much about motor vehicle but this I know every vehicle functions with a battery the purpose of the battery is to provide power to start the vehicle. That's right, that's right. The power in that battery can be used up if it is not continuously charged. Amen, that's true. Whenever the battery is charged, it supplies the energy to the engine. Yes, it does. For this vehicle with a charged battery to be in full motion, the driver must press the accelerator. However, if the battery is dead, because it is not being charged, that motor vehicle can be, cannot be driven. That's right. And if it does not matter how good that engine is, or how beautiful yeah. the car looks, yeah. it just cannot function. That's right. Amen. I share this story because as people of God, we all have a spiritual battery. Yeah. Our spiritual battery can be either charged or dead. Yes. Amen? Amen. Today, I would like to explore the theme, recharge and press. Yes. Come on, touch yourself and say recharge and press. My God. The word recharge means to regain energy, spirit, to be filled and become charged again. Press means to push or move forward. Recharge and press. My God. But how do we recharge our spiritual battery? First, to recharge our spiritual battery and press forward, our priority must be feeding on the word of God daily and spend time in quality prayer. Yes, Whenever we study the word of God, yes. we can apply it to our daily lives and use it to counteract the plans of the enemy. Yes. Without constant studying the word of God, Every Christian can fall into the least temptation. Yeah. Temptation comes to everybody, but it only becomes a sin if we yield to that temptation. Yeah. James chapter 1 verse 12 to 15 states, Blessed is the man who endures temptation. For when he has been approved, he will receive the crown of life which the Lord has promised to those yeah. who love him. Yeah. But each one is tempted when he's drawn away by his own desires and enticed. Then when desire has conceived, it gives birth to sin. And sin, when it is full grown, brings forth death. When Jesus was on earth, he was also tempted. But his spiritual battery was not charged, but I call it fully loaded. Hallelujah. He knew the word and spent time in quality time, prayer, and fasting. My God, the scripture says, after Jesus fasted for 40 days and 40 nights, he became hungry. My God, he was led by the spirit into the desert to be tempted by the devil. The devil approached him and said to him, if you are the son of God, command that these stones become bread. My God, church, do you notice what time, what point the devil attacks? When we are most vulnerable. My God, therefore, we need to be vigilant. Hallelujah. But notice, Jesus used the word of God to defeat the devil. He said, it is written, my God, man shall not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. My God, the devil was so, my mother would call it presumptuous. He did not stop there. And this is how he is today. My God, he tries to find every loophole. My God, to enter our life and tempt us as if uh, we can fall on any tricks. God, so he took Jesus, hallelujah, to the highest city and had him stand on the highest point of the temple. God, 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 if you are the son of God, throw yourself down. Again, Jesus used the word, hallelujah. He said, it is written, my God, do not put the Lord your God to the test. Hallelujah, church of God. Jesus. Psalm chapter 46 says, 
things. God is our refuge. Hallelujah. Touch yourself. Touch yourself. My God. And strength. A very present help in trouble. No, this truth is giving me a problem. Let me get it on. Sorry, excuse me. God is our refuge and strength. A very present help in trouble. Therefore, will not we fear, though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea. Hallelujah. For us to be nourished spiritually, we need to feed on the word of God. Hallelujah. So that our battery can be charged and we will be able to press forward. Say press forward. Hallelujah. Press. Hallelujah. If you do not study the word of God and apply it to your life, you will succumb to every pressure of life and every attack that the enemy sends your way. My God, sometimes we become spiritual malnourished. My God, spiritual stunted. Hallelujah. Lack spiritual growth. My God. And our battery becomes dead because we feed on too much junk. Mighty God. So we need to be careful what we hear, what we feed yes. in our spirit. But I want to encourage us today. Hallelujah. As we read, meditate, and confess on the word of God, we are only receiving spiritual strength. We are also being protected against the conforming to this world and being transformed by the renewing of our mind. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Bless now, Lord. it was the word. Now, listen here. It was the word that Jesus knew. So we know we need to know the word and use against the devil that gave him victory in the day of temptation. Hallelujah. Knowing the word of God and praying without season together for our spiritual battery to be recharged. Amen. Church, we need to invest in personal prayer. Hallelujah. We need to invest in personal prayer. My father once told me before he passed. Sandra, know God for yourself. My God, I did not understand what he meant until I became an adult. My God, we are living in troublesome times. Hallelujah. We are living in end times. We are living in last days. And if there were time, we need to know God for ourselves. Is now. Hallelujah. I want to encourage us to build our personal altar and secret place in our homes. Hallelujah. If you don't have a secret place in your home for prayer, build it now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The scripture says, He that dwelt, my God, you know that scripture, He that dwelt in the secret place of the most high God shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Isaiah 55, 6, 7 states, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his ways and the unrighteous man is thought. Hallelujah. Church, our efforts cannot substitute for prayer. My God, it doesn't matter what you do for Christ. If it doesn't matter how long you have been saved, that cannot be substituted for personal prayer with Christ. Amen. Let us not get too busy with work and other schedule so that they crown our prayer life. Hallelujah. Do not wait until you are in trouble before you turn to God in prayer for deliverance. Do not wait for the hands of flesh to fail you before you turn to God for strength. The less we pray, the more we are prone to falling into temptation. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. In the Lord's prayer, Jesus taught his disciples to pray that they would not fall into temptation. In the garden of Gethsemane, Jesus said, keep alert. You know what it is to keep alert. My God, and pray. Otherwise, temptation will overpower you. For though the spirit is willing, my God, the body is weak. Hallelujah. One thing I realize about the adversary, the devil, is very patient. And you see, if he's out to get you, he will spend all the time to come up with his tricks and the strategy. He's very patient. He's never, never in a hurry. So you need to know his tricks and strategies. He can afford to wait 
if it takes him to make us fall into temptation and destroy us. That's how he is. And now he's even more patient than ever. Hallelujah. He will keep looking for the opportune time to strike. Yes. My God. This translation said, the English translation said, stay alert. Yes. My God, stay alert. Yes. Watch out for your great enemy, the devil. Yes. He prowls around like a roaring lion looking for who he can devour. Yes. People of God, we need to be sober minded. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Watchful and wise because the devil always has an agenda. My God, but today we destroy the agenda with the blood of Jesus. We destroy every agenda of the enemy with the blood of Jesus. My God, we have the power. Sometimes we don't even know that we have the power. We have the power in our hands. My God, we have the power in our feet. We have the power in our mouth. All we need to do is to use up the power. Hallelujah. Zachariah 4, 6, 8. It's not by my might. You see, I come up here and I have to take out the shoes. The poor foot and weak. So it's not by my might, nor by my power. But when you depend on God, yeah. hallelujah. When you depend on God for strength, yeah. every step that has the back back. Yeah. You know what me do lately? When he come over me sometimes with some deadness. If me sit down, let me sit at home. Me have to get up because sometimes when you're fighting this devil, you don't come like the devil, come with double portion. Yeah. But when he come in, get up off your chair. And I say, Satan, back up. My God, back up, not to be here. Brother Jason, the other day, he bring a spirit of heaviness. But I hope the door. I say, not to be I feel done cast. I felt overwhelmed. I was sitting around the table. I get up. I say, back up, see a time. We still felt, I felt down. I opened the back door. It was cold. What I said, it no matter. God will take care of me. I opened the door. And I said, back up. Satan still presumptuous. I open the door. I said, get out. Not today. The blood of Jesus is against you. Use the power. Use the power. We are living in last days. And he's, he's destroying who he can destroy. Oh my, God. my God. And if you're not careful, he's going to destroy you. Get up. Stand up. If you're in bed, you can't sleep. Get up. Stand up. Mark time. Walk. My God, you see, I have to kick off the shoes. Because when we're doing them, you're serving you. Shoes have to throw one side. Because the devil is a liar. We are in warfare. This is what people need to know. When you are in warfare, get up. Stand up. Open your mouth. Use your hands. My God, if you have to pop away, use your hands. My God, if you have to use your foot, use your foot. But the devil is a liar. Look at his face. Tell him that he's a liar from the pit of hell. Use your words. We have the power. We have the power. Why are we praying? And sometimes we pray. I want to pray. God, I put your hand by your head. The devil is a liar. My God, I am in warfare. I just want some people to pray with me. Just pray with me. My God, there have been times. I remember a couple years ago. I was in Jamaica. And he tried to destroy me. I love to sing. My God. And one day I realized he put me in the back of the church. I couldn't sing anymore. And my church sister said to me, Sister Annie, so what's wrong with you? I said, I'm not feeling well. She said, the devil wants to destroy you. My God, but I remember my husband was preaching. My God, and I was sitting at the back. You know, I move from the front, and this is what the devil does. Move your front front seat, put your back seat. My God, and very soon you're going through the door. But the devil is a liar. And I went to the back of the, the church to sit. My God, and I heard my husband singing the song. After I preached a message, message, sick and helpless. My God, I'm ready to die. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit said, get up from the back seat. I get up. My God, I get up. And then I move. I follow the instruction of the Holy Spirit. Move from the back seat. Position yourself at the door. Take off the shoes. I get off the shoes. Brother Jason, the moment I, take off, I kick off the shoes, the Holy Spirit lifts me up. Drop me on the floor, on the floor, at the high top. Between my husband's leg. The devil wanted to kill me. But today I tell him the devil is a liar. Yeah. I leave some prayer warriors with you today. We are in a war of fear. Yeah. It's some time for people to sit down. Oh, and tell me that you discourage. The devil is a liar. Yeah. My God, he wants to kill us and send us to hell. Yeah. But today I serve him. Come on. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. My God. Yeah. The devil is a liar. Yeah. My God. I want people who walk their boat. Yeah. I say the devil is a liar. Yeah. And I want to send someone to sit. Sometimes when you cry, you don't.
on your pressure on. Yes. And you keep up your get up. Yes. Just take your time and stand up. Yes. And if you have to call for backup, yes. get somebody who can pray with you. Yes. Call for backup. Yes. Back up prayer. Yes. If you need backup, call for it. Yes. And I'm not joking in this last thing. If you want to talk, go and do that. But I'm not joking. If enough is enough. I've been sick for too long. I tell Satan, listen, this body belongs to God. It's the temple of the Lord. And guess what? I am going to fight. My God, I am going to walk here. And I'm going to fight. My God, so we need to put out the whole arm of God. Hallelujah. I tell God, sometimes you play with my mind. Hallelujah. But I put on the helmet of service. Because 
because there is no truth in him. When he lies, he speaks according to his own nature. He is a liar and the father of lies. Sometimes sickness struck the body and the devil telling that you're going to die. No, who open your mouth? If you just cannot get up, but open your mouth and tell yourself, I shall not die, Amen. but live and declare the works of the Lord. My God, I remember in 2014, I had a terrible stomach bleeding and I did not know. And I was bleeding for years, not years, sorry, for, for quite a while. And I did not know. And I'm telling you, when it got worse, to the point where I was, you know, passing blood. The night before I was admitted in hospital, I felt so weak like I was going to die. And I was lying in that bed. And the devil literally started speaking to my mind to tell me that I'm going to die. I started thinking about my children and everybody. And I started feeling pitiful and saying, God, what is going to happen to my children? But the Holy Spirit spoke to me. Stop being pitiful. Speak the word over your body. I shall not die. And in that weak state, I said, I shall not die. God, if you spare my life, I will testify for you. I said, I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. Sometimes the devil tell you that you're going to die. Tell yourself, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Hallelujah. Sometimes you feel hopeless, like your back is against the wall. But tell yourself, I love the song. My hope is built on nothing less. Hallelujah. That Jesus' blood righteousness on cross the solid rock I stand and when you stand on that solid rock my God you will stand forever hallelujah hallelujah tell yourself why are thou cast down for my soul and why are thou disquieted in me oh thou in God for I shall yet praise him for the help of his covenant hallelujah sometimes you feel discouraged and you want to give up Respect in the name of Jesus. Okay. 
obedience yes. in the name of Jesus. Yes. And everything positive, I call it him. Yes. And then I wake him up with the olive oil. When he got up the morning, he said, Mommy, what's wrong? I said, No. <laughs> he was a changed boy. Yes. I said, Sometimes your children give him yes. trouble. Yes. It's not time for you to mm. sit down and curl up. Yes. Your husband give him your trouble. Mm. And your wife give him your trouble. Yes. Don't sit down and curl up. You see, when you have a little space alone in the house, yes. I love to stay alone in the house. And you see, if I'm in there and the Holy Spirit says, Stop what you're doing, I walk through bedroom. Yes. I walk through bathroom. Yes. I go through room and if say, I feel a little something in your soul, I pull door. I said, Come on, Satan. Yes. I said, What? This is not your place. I said, This is my house. Yes. I dwell in this house. Yes. This is where my family belongs. This is God's family. Yes. You have no part in here. Yes. Get out. That God has given to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Finally. Glory, hallelujah. I would like to encourage someone. If you have lost a job, my God, you might not have enough money to pay your bills. Never give up. Hallelujah. Never give up. God promise that you will never leave us. I remember when I was in Jamaica in my 20s too, early, late 20s, just got married, my husband lost his job. I went to a convention. Holy was filled. And I sat down in that convention on the front. All I'm thinking about is the bells. But the Holy Spirit that sit down on the front and looks and you see and know when he talked to me. And I sat at the front. My God. Those days you as a young person, you know what hope in your mouth. It's only old people, big people, sorry. Big people in church who open their mouth. But God said, if you want for me half and you have to hope in your mouth, get rid of pride. And I remember. I was sitting at the front of the, 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 the building and I just know that I want my bills to be paid. I open my mouth. My God, if you want something from your character, you can't find it on this and we are hooping them out. And I said, God, God, fix it. I can't call people for telling me how the bills to be paid. I'm just married. You want to laugh at me? I said, well, I'm married. I said, just married. I said, God, and brothers and sisters, I hope in my mouth and shout a few times in that service. Put away my pride because I needed help. Yes. Few days in the week, my darling, my husband friend came to me and he put a, a brown envelope in my hand. My God, when I opened it, I couldn't wait. Because when I hope, because I didn't know that when you just obey God, I open the motor and shout something can happen. So, 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 when, so fast. So when I get the envelope, hey! Who opened the envelope? 15,000 Jamaican dollars? Who could it be but God? So sometimes we come here. Are you at home wherever? God said, open your mouth. Don't sit down beautiful and pretty. If you wake up on your head and you have to drop it off, you drop it off. My God, I'm hoping your mouth. Because you need help. And if you need help, you're not going to sit down and shut your mouth. You're hoping your mouth and cry out for help. If you die, you don't sit down. testimony but in 2015 I was jobless for the first time when I moved to Montreal ask me if it was difficult yes it was but sometimes what God does he allows us to get out of our comfort zone because when I was back home I taught for 20 odd years always have money to buy whatever I wanted no God dropped me here jobless for the first time I learned to leave ah! and depend on Jesus at that time. And I remember one day, help me Jesus. I said I was removed from my comfort zone because God wanted me to be jobless for me to tell somebody that if you are jobless, there's hope in Jesus. There's hope in Jesus. If you have bills to pay, you just need to call upon God. And all I wanted at that time was just a few slices of salmon. And so I opened the door, the, the, the freezer. When I opened the door, my darling, all I saw in the freezer was some ice cube. Not even a piece of meat. I said, God, I need salmon. I need some salmon to cook. I was specific. And when you go before God, be specific. Look around the bush. God knows what you want. Be specific. And when I opened 
and do her. I said, God, I need some someone to cook. I didn't want to bother my husband because the little bit where I make, I just wanted to put on in case of rainy day. Yes. Yes. And so I wanted to put down and I ask and ask. Because if I had asked him for it, he would have given him one. But that's not what the Holy Spirit said. Ask for what you want. I opened the freezer door and all I saw were ice cubes. I said, God, I need some summer. I said, I know I call Dick. Because if I call Dick, Dick might go tell Tom, and tell Tom go tell Harry. But this is not what you say. You didn't tell me to call anybody. You said, call upon you. And I said, God, I want the freezer door. I said, God, my mother told me that a thousand cats on a hill. And a hill belong to you. And all I want today is to kill one of the cats that get off one of the back foot. And get me some salmon. Amen, Jesus. My God, I said, just one back foot I need God. Just kill one of the I don't want a, a big cow, just the back foot for some summer. Yes. I said, Daddy Jesus, with the freezer door open, I want you to speak to somebody now while I'm speaking to you. Yes. Just speak with somebody. Let me know that you are alive and well. And speak to somebody now and prove to me that you are God. I need someone. Yes. About two days after when I came to church, immediately after worship, there's this mother in the church rushed to me. She was, in, she was burning. She said, Sister Anderson, come, I need to speak to you. She said to me, I was home in my house. And the Holy Spirit spoke to me to tell me to go buy you some salmon. She said she had to put on her clothes, jump on the bus as quickly as possible, yes. go get the salmon. She said, Sister Anderson, I couldn't cook the salmon. They said, the Holy Spirit never tell me to cook the salmon. The Holy Spirit said, yes, salmon, come give me. My God. And so she seized up the salmon, put it in some coconut and milk. And take the salmon and give to me. Yeah. When I went to him, all I could do was say, Thank you, Jesus. Put that salmon in the oven and have my Sunday dinner. Isn't God a good God? Isn't God a mighty God? We need to serve God. We need to know the God in whom we please. We trust. I remember another day, I'm coming down, but I must tell you, and people who are getting discouraged, come on, build up your feet. It's time to recharge and press. It's time to recharge and press. And I remember one day I opened my cupboard. And when I opened my cupboard, my dish, dish washing liquid and my detergents and so on were running out. Certain things that he used were running out. And I just opened the door. I mean, God, good. In good, bad. And when I opened that door, my God, I realized things were, I said, God, all I said to God is, God, you know, I, I could, you know, do well with some of these things. But anyway, you know, I'm not going to ask for them little something because we need bigger things to take care of. When I come to church next year, my God, and I'm telling you, God is not biased. If you trust God, it will, it will work for you. Yes. It's not because I'm the pastor's wife why he provides for me because I trust him and I depend on him. Yes. I learn to lean and yes. depend on Jesus. My God, when I reached church, my darling sister came to me, opened the car trunk. My husband has something for you. When I went to him, the church and saw, my God, this washing liquid saw, fabrics are the saw. They are most so everything you could think about. Worship God. God is amazing. Yeah. God is done. It's not time for us to sit down and hold on our head. We serve a mighty God. Yeah. We serve a mighty God. Yeah. We serve a great God. Yeah. We serve a good God. Yeah. Musicians, we serve a good God. Come on, we serve a good God. Yeah. We serve a good God. Yeah. My God, put your trust in God. Yeah. Your job next, open your mouth. Tell God, facts. Tell God, facts. And the son I'm going to be doing is, you may feel down, and I want to pray Steve to help me. And I, what I want to say to my people today, it's time to arise. Yes. Get your battery recharged. Yes. Hallelujah. And press. Press, press. Because God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we can even think or even imagine. It's time to recharge. Recharge your battery. Recharge, recharge. Whatever you ask for, believe in faith. If your health is deteriorating, hold on to God. It's not over until it's over. And if you are not saved when you're watching, it's time to give your life to Christ. Today, the scripture says, if you hear his voice, hide not your heart. Today is your savior. But today, tomorrow, sorry, it can be your judge. Hallelujah. You may feel down and feel like God. Hallelujah. You may feel down and feel like God. That's all. Somehow. 
that you are faced with circumstances you can get
press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling which is in Christ Jesus. I pray to the Almighty God that you will continue to overshadow our lives so that whatsoever we do, Lord God, it will be done to bring praise and glory and honor to your name. I pray today, Father, for someone, oh God, who might be feeling so down, that today, Lord God, as they listen to this word, that they will find grace and sustenance. They will find strength and courage, oh God, to move forward. I pray for someone, oh God, who might be going through a rough path, that they will understand that they can call upon your name. Because as they call upon your name, you promise, oh God, that you will come through for your people. The truth is, God, we sometimes do not know how. The truth is, God, sometimes we do not know when. But we thank you, God, that we can trust your word. We thank you that we can lean on your promises. We thank you, God, that we can always turn to you. So today I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that God will meet your people at the point of their need. May your sustaining grace be upon your children. God, I pray to cover them under your blood. Continue to increase us in faith as we continue to trust you. Bless us for the remaining portion of this week, oh God. Guide our thoughts, guide our steps in every aspect of our life. I pray that God will be with us. And I pray that the anointing of God will be released upon someone today who's feeling down, who feel that they can't go on. I pray that today, Father, you will give them the power them an injection of the Holy Spirit that will propel them forward, that will move them in the right direction. Father, we bless you then today. And we thank you for hearing our prayers. As we give praise and glory and honor in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, just lift your hands and give the Lord of thanks today for his goodness. Just thank the Lord today for his grace and for his mercy. Hallelujah, praise God. Hallelujah, we give God thanks today for the word that he has deposited in the life of, of the heart of his daughter. May the Lord continue to bless her and keep her. And I want to bless you today as you go today. May the peace of God which passes all human understanding ever rest remain with you and your loved ones from this day and forevermore. Remember my sisters and brothers, stay plugged into the word of God. Stay plugged into prayer and connect with God in meditation. So may the Lord bless you today and may the Lord keep you. Have a wonderful rest of the week. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.